Learning how to manipulate the size of any object in 3D modeling is very important. As we get eventually into our keychain project, uh, it's important that we make the sizing of our keychain not so large that we can't 3D print it and also not so tiny that you can't even see uh, the words or pictures that you have on your keychain. So learning how to accurately change the size of an object is very pivotal, very important. So let's show you how to do it. As always, you're going to click on the block or any object to get started. And all it's gonna have you do is it wants you to match the shape of the highlighted orange or kind of the, the blank hole or the orange space. So um, the way you're going to be doing this is you're actually gonna be holding onto the white squares with this. The white squares allow you to, as you can see, bring the edges or the sides out. So now you're turning this cube into a rectangular prism. You'll notice I'm a little bit off on this, so I'll bring it out just to make sure it's good. And there you have the first one. Again, I can click and drag and rotate kind of the work plane so it's a little bit easier to see how I get things done. Click on the block again. And there you have the second one. And for the final, hold and drag. I'm gonna rotate it. At 180 degrees and there you go that's how you change the size of essentially any object in tinkercad um, if you want a different example with that here is a sphere what you'll notice is it's a little bit different with with spheres um, but as you're changing the size of it it makes it a lot more flat if you're pulling on the right corners of it if i pull up on this it's making it look like a surfboard, if you will. Um, if I'm pulling on the black squares, now it's turning into more of a flat circle once again. Um, the best way to describe it, it's a, all about testing out how things work in Tinkercad. Uh, a video can only take you so far. But anyways, that's how you change the size or extend each of the blocks.